Hi, I'm Mark Lund here, author of The Effective Investor. Uh, let me ask you a question. Have you ever had to catch a mouse? If so, you'd probably use one of these, a mouse trap. This particular trap was invented by John Mast back in 1899. Now, over the years, many have tried to come up with a better mouse trap. There are over 4,000 registered patents on the mouse trap, with about 400 added each year. But the snap trap is the one that most people still buy. So sometimes people just get it right the first time. Now I liken this to investing. There are many, many investment strategies out there trying to lure people to speculate with their money. But there's only one way to invest without speculation. It's called rebalancing. So here's how it works. Let's say you have 80,000 to invest. To keep this simple, uh, we'll just use two asset categories and split this 80,000 equally into each category. Now let's say after the first year, the first asset category goes up in value by 26%, and your second asset category goes down by 18%. Now let's say you do nothing to your portfolio at this time, you just leave it alone. And the second year, the first asset category goes down by 8%, and your second asset category goes up by 25%. At the end of the second year, your portfolio is worth uh, over $87,000. So you think everything's okay because your account is up, right? Well, let's take the same example and do a rebalance halfway through. So we start with the same $80,000 that you had to invest. And you decide you want to divide it equally, just like before, into two asset categories. 50% in one and 50% in the other. So let's say after the first year, the first asset category goes up in value by 26%, just like before, and your second asset category goes down by 18%, just like before. Now before, we left it alone. This time, let's do a rebalance. That means you sell off some of the asset category that performed well, and buy some of the asset category that did not do so well. So this now brings your total allocation back to the original guidepost that you started with, 50-50. Now we continue, and that same thing happens. The second year, the first asset category goes down by 8%, and your second category goes up by 25%. This time, your account value at the end of the second year is worth over 90,000. The only thing you changed was that you rebalanced. This gave your account an increase of about $3,000. Now keep in mind a few things here. Rebalancing does not guarantee you an increase in portfolio value. This is just a systematic way to take the emotion out of investing to help you buy low and sell high. Also, keep in, keep in mind, uh, to keep this simple, I just used an example of rebalancing once in a two-year time period. We review client accounts regularly for opportunities to rebalance. I also just use an example of two asset categories. Our portfolios have 19 asset categories. So if you'd like to know more about how we can help you with your investments or retirement plans, feel free to give me a call anytime. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Nothing so loud.